Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of April general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Leo, when I was meditating over you guys' song, um, the, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Stay With Me by Sam Smith. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, Mr. Sam Smith happens to be a Taurus, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in a visual, or because we do have Mercury retrograde starting in Taurus season, you could have somebody coming back from your past trying to rekindle the connection, okay? When I was meditating over the energy, I heard losing you is not an option for them, okay? So, and that makes a lot of sense with the song Stay With Me. Losing you is not an option for them. I definitely feel like if you're single right now, you could be newly single or it's like, I, I, I'm just, period, I'm just getting that somebody from your past is going to try to come back. But I feel like this is a recent past. I don't feel like you've been single that long. And if you have been single for a long period of time, I feel like this person never completely moved on from you. This could be you feeling like this also, just put it where it applies. But I definitely feel like somebody is not ready to completely cut ties, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the sun card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have Major Arcana, the Magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo individual. Also, this could just be somebody who is trying to manifest you back. I definitely get that's the energy here today, okay? So we part the deck. And remember I was saying Sam Smith is a Taurus. Okay, you have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Slowly but surely, this person is going to make their way back towards you. I really do. With Pentacles, it always makes me think about value. This person sees your value now or sees the value that you added to their life. And that's why they're coming back towards you because Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. He's going into battle. So this person wants to fight for this connection. They want to fight for you. That's what I'm getting. There could be another person in a, in a situation or it is. Okay, you got these two women here, Shirley and Barbara, okay? If you notice, they have the thread in between them. That thread in between them is you. Could be done with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There was definitely some fights and, and disagreements because you can see there's two people here in the background. There's two people there. So there was, there was third-party stuff here, whether it was on your end or your person's end. It doesn't matter. There was some third-party stuff here. Someone's first, middle, last initial was T. N O F C P or S. Okay, first and last initial for you, your person, or third party. Yeah, this person does not want to let you go. They want to fight for this relationship. It definitely could be a water sign or something that ended in water sign season. We just left Pisces season not that long ago, so I'm getting that as well. There is some trickery and some foolishness going on. Seven of Swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak conniver here. So there was some deception. And that's what led to an ending, and this person wants to try to make it right. But I don't feel like you're going to trust this person. I feel like you don't trust this person anymore. Wow. And we automatically got your cards. Yeah, this is somebody you have history with. Six of Cups, people that you have history with in this lifetime, past lifetime. You can also have children with this individual, or you could have grew up with this individual. I'm getting that as well. And then you got the Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. You see how she has her arms across her chest like she's protecting her heart. This person's like, stay with me. You know, she's holding herself. This person does not want to lose you, male or female. And that came out very quickly. So this is going to happen soon. This is going to happen. This is going to be something that could take place within the next six to seven days. But also, like I said, for a lot of you guys, it could be in Mercury retrograde that this person reaches out to you. Because you got swords here, and that's mercurial energy. Again, I feel like you ain't going to trust a damn thing this person say. Because they, they done did the big one on you. <laughs> they already done did something where you don't trust them. Bottom of the deck, yep, you do not trust this person. They stabbed you in the back big time. Ten of swords. Now, we just stopped here at the nine to the ten. So, I feel like a lot of you all are finally healing. I want you to see this also. Somebody may have stolen money from you. Or you may have found, found out that they were just using you for some type of stability. Okay? Because the king of pentacles is by far the most stable king of all the kings. Earth, air, fire, and water. He's the most stable. Male or female, again, put this where it applies in your situation. Yeah, because now it's making sense with this deception. This person, you could have found out this person was using you because you were very stable. They needed somewhere to live. They were using you. Some type of monetary gain. And you, you don't trust this person anymore. 
I'm getting that also. Definitely feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back. So you got the King of Wands, male or female, you are in your power. Big Leo, big lion, big roar. You ain't playing no games with this person. You know who you are and you're looking elsewhere. You see how he's not looking at us? You are, you know, you're looking elsewhere. You're not even interested in this person anymore. But again, people have free will, so that's not going to stop this person from um, trying to come back towards you. And that is the case. You see how your back is facing them? But they're the five pinnacles in reverse trying to come back towards you. Uh, right, this um, being left out in the cold, lack, loss, and abandonment. They want to come out of it in reverse. And they're going towards you. And again, you got this pinnacle energy. So for some of you all, you may feel like this person treated you like a walking piggy bank. Or like Daddy Warbucks or something like that. Somebody's name is Peggy and Penny, I'm getting also. Okay, and somebody could also be a penny pincher. Or cleaned you out for every single last penny. Like some, If you had a joint account or this person has access to your money, they may have cleaned out your account or took some money without telling you. Hmm. You have the five of cups in reverse. This person wants to come out of sadness. They want to come out of some type of depression associated with you. Let's get a clarifier for the seven of swords. Clarifier for the seven of swords for Leo, Sun, Rising, Venus, individuals. Seven of swords. Let's get a clarifier for the seven of swords for Leo, Sun, and you got two cards, so I'm going to take them both. This landed on top of here, so I'm going to leave it as is, and then right here you have the devil in reverse. Hmm. So, again, I feel like for some of you guys, this could have been involved to money. You know, you may have had money stacked up or you were putting money away or something like that. And this person may have had access to your money. Now, if it's not a situation where there's money involved, this could definitely be like, because with the Eight of Pentacles, that's the actual nine to five and also putting in the work. In reverse, you're going to be like, no, it's not going to work. We can never be together again because of what you did in the past. I'm definitely getting that energy. And then for the Six of Cups, you have the devil in reverse. Now, I'm going to show you the devil up right. This is their, their bound together. They're tied together. Karmic contract. Okay? It's in reverse, which means you ended something with someone that you had children with. Um, again, some type of karmic contract with. It's, it's come to an end. And that's a major arcana, so that's a definite energy. There could have been an ending with someone. You do have pentacles here towards Virgo Capricorn. With the devil, you have Capricorn. So someone could have Capricorn in their chart. Or you could have ended something in Capricorn season. Capricorn season is December, January, so that may resonate with you also. Overall, it just looks like, because the Six of Cups is also a card of reconciliation. It's like, this person wants to come in for a reconciliation. You're like, I will never be bound to you again. I will never be tied to you again, is what I'm getting here. Because if you just look at all the energy here, outside of that Six of Cups, you got deceit. You got something not working. You got a, a, a soul tie, a soul contract being broken and being released from some type of shackles. They're bound to, to each other with shackles. Somebody wants to come back in towards you. I definitely feel like it could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. And you just know in your heart that it's not going to work because it too much has been done. Too much harm has been done. And you're over it. You're moving on from it. And you're ready to go to the next level. That's what I'm getting here for you guys today. Okay? So, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.